Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today, let's look a little more closely at the spacing tab in the distribute command. I'm going to go ahead and select some connectors in the Axial Turbine tutorial case that I've already imported. And then I'm going to go over to the grid menu and pull down to distribute. And the first thing I'd like to look at here is the table. It says that there are six selected spacings or spacing constraints. That's due to the fact that I selected three connectors originally for the command, and each one has a spacing constraint applied at each end. Two of these are listed as unconstrained, four are listed as constrained. Constrained basically just means that these four were entered explicitly by the user at some point. The other two, unconstrained, I know from having worked this tutorial are related to this connector at the top of the view that we have selected here. And that's because this particular connector has been smoothed in the elliptic solver with a floating boundary condition. We can actually go in and select subsets of these spacing constraints and see, for instance, the information change in the table indicating that now I have two selected these are both constrained. Since their values, the constraint entered for each of those is different, the table shows us an average for the specification of the spacing and also the actual, which of course in this situation is essentially the same. Selecting only one of these, I can see now one constrained. The specified value is 0004 at that end of that connector and it is the actual. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and update that spacing constraints value directly right here in this command by just simply typing in a new value. Let's say, for instance, I'd like it to be somewhat smaller. I'll enter 0002 for a new value and hit Enter. And that value has been applied for that spacing constraint, but the grid itself has not yet been updated or the connector and its distribution. That will not happen until I either click Apply or OK to save the changes and exit the command. It's important to note, however, that using this feature to apply spacing constraints from within the distribute command is essentially the same as using the spacing field on the grid toolbar and updating or changing spacing constraints at the top of the interface having selected spacing constraints, of course, individually rather than connectors as I have here for this particular command. The last thing I would like to look at before we wrap up this video is this probe capability at the bottom of the spacing tab of distribute. When you check this box for probe, this is kind of a modal operation in that it overrides the rest of the functionality of the panel at this time until you uncheck and close the probe capability again. What it does allow you to do is to mouse over the distribution of your connector directly in the display window and see what the actual spacing values are between grid points along the distributed connector. You can either mouse over the space between two grid points and get only that particular value, and it's also shown in the table listed as index and delta S. Or you can mouse over a specific grid point and see the spacing values before and after that particular point, as well as the index number for that particular grid point in the connector. And of course, I can do this for all of the particular connectors that I currently have selected for the distribute command and easily and quickly interrogate spacing values that I have at great detail in the grid. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.